Hey, what's going on guys? This is Final K, and today I'm bringing you guys a video going over this concept of pressure and the importance of like early clear versus like clear that's not so good. And um, yeah, just kind of that concept because I've been watching the SPL lately and like this term pressure and stuff has been thrown around a lot, but it's not been explained to the, I guess, the best potential. And that's not to say that the casters don't know it or can't explain it. It's just like in the heat of the cast or heat of the moment, they may not be able to explain it to its full potential. And yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to be going over today. And I think it's pretty important and you'll see why. So we're going to be going over the Luminosity versus Team Envious Game 1 and their set. This is from last week or maybe two weeks ago of the fall split that just started in the SPL. So we're going to be looking at this game, so Envious versus Luminosity. We're going to be looking specifically at the Solo and Jungle, which is Vamana and Susano versus Amaterasu and Ratatasker. Okay, so we're going to be going over is this early clear and how pressure is gained, basically. So Vamana's clear is pretty It's pretty good for uh, the Warriors. I guess it's average. Susano's clear for Jungle is uh, it's pretty bad right now, especially with no power pot. It's one of the worst. That's one of his glaring weaknesses. He has a lot of advantages, uh, or I guess uh, strengths. Uh, to mid to late game, but one of his uh, weaknesses is definitely his early clear. Where on the other side, we have Amaterasu Red Tasker. Amaterasu's uh, clear early game, or at least in the buffs, that's kind of what we're talking about. Sorry, I should really uh, specify that. Is the buff clear is what we're talking about really? Um, her buff clear is probably the best in the game for solos. Not maybe not by herself, but with the combination of her jungler, and we'll explain why in a second. So yeah, she has one of the bu best buff clears, and then Ratatasker right now definitely has one of the best buff clears because he has an acorn, which gives him power, and that's he's the only um, physical jungler that can have power at uh, level one because everybody else has to go boots one, uh, Boomba, so they're gonna have no power. So he's gonna have ten power, which is it's kind of a big deal, and you'll see why because there's a lot of numbers to add up here. So Amaterasu Ratatasker, they're clear, probably the two best in the game, right? compared to uh, probably one of the worst in the game and uh, average clear in Vimana and Susana. So we're going to be looking at that. So we're going to just we're gonna let the, the game play out. I'm going to turn down the volume just so you guys don't have to listen to it. And you're just going to see the clear of each god. We're going to see who gets to lane first, who clears the speed first, goes over to blue, and then gets to lane first. And we'll, we'll see. So they're just clearing out their buffs. Uh, Susana gets his one first. It's usually what you get. Um, See, they're still on their speed, and they've already reached their blue, which is, I mean, that's kind of a big deal, and you'll see why. They're already starting their blue, already, or they're probably already finished with it. See, they just finished it, and Vamana Susano are probably halfway, getting near the end of their buff right now. They're already in lane, getting all this pr this pressure. This is where the pressure is important. They're pushing their wave in under tower, and they have to clear this. Susano has to clear this while Ratatasker is already rotating to mid. Both these mids are up, plus the fire at least. So we're just going to stop there, and we can go back to the video. But anyway, how so how is it possible for somebody to outclear that's them by so much and get that much pressure? That's where pressure is is actually should be used that's the pressure that we're talking about and how did that even happen how did they outclear them that much well we're going to go over it right now so amaterasu her uh her passive she eliminates enemies she hits with basic attacks after three hits on the same target here let me zoom in real quick after three hits on the same target the enemy gains an aura exposing their weaknesses and causing them to take more damage from all sources that's that's huge any other enemies that come near the afflicted target are weakened as well that's very important too so what this means is the big Cyclops is getting hit with an aura that will make it take 10% 10, 10 increased damage from everything, from her her auto attacks, Red Tasker, and his abilities, etc. Or any jungler for that matter. And it does it to the, the small creeps as well at this feed buff. So it it's a debuff aura, so it does it to all three. So it's taking they're all taking 10% increased damage from Ama and the Ratatasker or whatever jungler it is. So that's important. That that makes her clear a lot more because 10%, say they're hitting for 50 per auto attack, that's uh, 5 extra damage for every auto. So that adds up, right? As well as the fact that some people get her 2, you know, nobody gets her 3, but some people get her 2, but most people will get her 1, and here's the reason why. Um, it gives you 15 bonus power, of course, to yourself, so you're going to be hitting 15... Uh, power harder for every auto attack. Also, it's giving this uh, this aura to the Ratatasker or the jungler. So you're both hitting, it's basically 30 more power for every auto attack, which adds up and will do a lot more damage than this does. Plus this has a cooldown, whereas this doesn't, so you go straight over to blue and you're starting it already with this power, and you don't have to wait for this cooldown. So this clear is insane with these this ability, um, with the power, extra power, plus their passive. 
you're going to make not even Ratatasker, but any jungler clear a lot faster than the enemy jungler, as long as it's, you know, they, they have decent clear. Secondly, what we're going to be talking about with this clear and everything is Ratatasker and why his clear is so good, especially in combination with somebody like Amaterasu. So, like we said before, Ratatasker has 10 power at level 1 with his acorn, which no other physical um, uh, jungler has any power at level 1, right? Uh, Ratatasker is the only one, basically, right? So... That's a big deal. That 10 power would add up, especially with all these things that we've already talked about. It all adds up, right? So, so yeah, that that power at level one is important. Another important thing with his clear is his uh, his AOE and his his hit chain, basically. I guess what we could say is um, he's a 1.25, but it also hits an AOE at the end. So that AOE right there with the autos that his autos are hitting super hard because of the power he has from the acorn plus the power and the damage he's getting from Amaterasu. So that AOE is going to hit hard and it's going to clear those side minions very easily. Uh, additionally, you're supposed to get your your uh, the second ability, the flurry uh, first on Redatasker because your AOE auto attacks plus this we're going to clear the side minions on the speed buff very fast. Additionally, it, re it removes the protections and it's easier to hit than Acorn Blast, so it's a lot easier, basically. So yeah, it's going to reduce protections, and you're also going to clear those side minions. This means that Amaterasu can focus all her DPS on the big Cyclops, so that you guys can clear that buff as fast as possible. And usually, you'd be able to clear with uh, the Amaterasu Ratatasker combination, you'll be able to clear speed buff at least 3 to 4 seconds faster than uh, the other pair of Solo and Jungle, especially in this game with, uh, what is it, uh... Susano and Vimana, which will clear them a lot harder. So anyway, yeah, so like, like we said, Ratatasker has an AoE hit chain, and he's the only one, only uh, physical assassin in the game that has an AoE hit chain besides Neza. And Neza is kind of in the meta right now, but not really, so Ratatasker, no other one here has an AoE hit chain. I guess, oh wait, Thanatos does, but you know, he's not in the meta, so we're not going to even talk about him. He's kind of uh, bad right now. So yeah, that's kind of why their clear is so good. And we're just going to go back to the video and uh, show like kind of what happens after that and what they gain off of this. So they out clear and right, and they have uh, Vamana and Susano have to worry about this wave. So they can rotate to these fire alleys that spawn at 45 seconds and get the mid camps. So Rat's going to go to the mid camps with Uller, and they're going to clear that while Amaterasu does the fire alleys. And they're going to split all of this. Like They're going to three-way split the mid camps and the fire alleys, and they all hit level 3, which is important. Amaterasu goes back to wave, hitting level 3, which is important for her, so she can have her dash because she has to play semi-safe. Uh, um, so yeah, they get the, and then they go into mid, and they know that, I'm going to pause it right here, Skeletongon got to uh, mid lane so late because of the their clear compared to Amaterasu Ratatasker that he can't even make it to the left harpies, or left mid camps in time. He knows that Agni has to go to them immediately to do them, or LG is going to get them, because... They can't they can't go in mid and clear this wave and then go to lefts because first of all they can't they probably can't fight them at lefts because of just of the um, the the way their fights work I mean Ratatasker uh, Uller is going to be a lot better than Agni Susano and additionally they're going to have a wave going under the tower because Uller and Rat are going to out clear because they're going to get to here first because uh, Susano is going to be here so late in the first place because of their clear and it's all it's like a trickle effect of this clear this uh speed buff and blue buff clear it's just so much faster that they gain so much off of it and like in, in the video like they'll talk about oh there's just so much pressure but they never like they never show why it's not it's, it has nothing to do with the the fact that like it it's not like mask and xeno are just better players than skeleton and kiki it's it's completely based off picks and just how the game works like uh, with the clear and the abilities of the gods so yeah, so anyway, I'm going to play the, the video again. So with this pressure that they're getting in mid, they're pushing this wave uh, up, and they have to clear it in mid, obviously. They can go to their back camps. They know that these back lefts are down because the uh, ADC or the other side cleared it at the beginning of the game, right? So they can go to these backs, and they can't even think about contesting because they have to clear the wave, so they're going to come there late. And if they even can get there in time, can they even beat this Ratatasker and Uller in a fight? Probably not, right? So they can't contest. So now... The Rat Tasker is almost he is almost 300 gold up on the Susano, which is important because once Rat can get his Acorn and level five, he can gank anywhere on the map and kill. He has 50 power at level five, which is ridiculous. That's like ridiculous because you don't even have to back for it. You know, like if another guy, say Susano, is able to get his gold and get back for boosts, like you at least know he backs, so it's going to be a little bit before he comes for a gank, right? Rat Tasker just buys it in the jungle and can just hop over and gank wherever he wants. So this pressure that they're gaining from having Amaterasu is super important for that reason alone. 
so yeah, they were able to get the back camps, and we kind of, I guess we kind of talked about it and why it happened and uh, everything. But yeah, it's super important. I just, I just want not that casters are doing a poor job. I just want them to talk about this stuff more uh, personally because it's kind of a big deal, especially early game, and it's kind of why things happen the way they do. It's not like it's not like this team has pre like they say that oh this team has pressure on this team, but it's they're making it seem as though like they just have that pressure just because like they're playing aggressive because they like they can. It's it's not like that. It's based off matchups and um, who outclears who and how, like who is in lane first and just how you know it's just how the game works and yeah. That's basically it. Um, that's basically all I want to talk about, and hopefully I can talk about similar topics or maybe even the same topic in future videos. This is just one example of it occurring because it was a pretty glaring example. I didn't think got I didn't think it got addressed well enough. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope to make more of them. So yeah.